everybody. Welcome back to Meals with Marcia. Today I'm going to show you a recipe. It's called Shrimp Scampi. I'm excited to show you this, so let's get started. Now I'm only doing a half of the half the recipe today. I've about left my eye, my skillet on the eye too long. I've got it too hot here. But I got it on medium high heat, and I'm going to put a tablespoon of olive oil in and a two to three tablespoons of butter. So we're just doing a half order today. You get that in there. It's gonna go fast. I need to turn this down. I've got it on medium high, but I think I'm gonna have to turn it down. All right, let's get this butter in. Yeah, she's gonna go fast today. I about got my skillet too hot setting up my video. So it's gonna go today. It's all right, we'll make it work. All right. And I'm gonna have to refer back to my recipe a little bit. I don't make this every day. But this is something I really, really enjoy. And then you're gonna need two cloves of garlic. Well, I don't have any uh, fresh garlic, so I just got a, a, some of the jarred garlic, the minced garlic in a jar. So we're gonna use that. And I am using an iron skillet today, guys. Uh, if you don't have to, you can use a non-stick skillet if you want. Uh, let me see what I'm gonna do. Ooh, not that much. About two cloves worth, and I'm gonna just stir that up. It wants you to fizzle that around a little bit. Smells good already. Now, if you want to use the fresh garlic, that's fine. Two cloves, just mince it up. We're just gonna let that go for just a second. Kind of get it going. Get back on my eye here. Now, I have a bag of the uh, raw shrimp that's been deveined, but I washed them off and I took the tails off. This is a 12 ounce bag. And normally you do two pounds for the red, original recipe that I have. But like I said, I'm halving it, so it's gonna be 12 ounces of shrimp, not as much. So we'll let that sizzle just a couple minutes. It's not gonna take long to do this. This is a quick, quick thing, guys. Shrimp cooks fast. All right, that's minced up. Now I'm gonna add my shrimp. And we're just gonna lay them in there. And up. Shrimp doesn't take but a couple of minutes to cook on each side. And when it starts turning pink, it's done. So just keep that in mind. I guess I just dump that in there. I'm trying to be all fancy today. But this is a great side dish to have like when you're making uh, steaks. If you're grilling steaks on the grill, this is great. Or if uh, you're wanting to do like a Alfredo pasta, this is great. Shrimp scampi is great to put in with your pasta as well. But we're just gonna cook that. I'm gonna turn my heat back up to about six, I had to turn it down a little bit because it was high a while ago, it was going. And I didn't mean to get it that hot before we started. Close my garlic back up. And um, like I said, just a few simple ingredients and this is going to be delicious. I love to go to Red Lobster and eat shrimp scampi. I could eat my weight in that. And when I learned how to do this, I was like, wow, I can, I can actually have shrimp scampi at home. These are starting to turn pink, the ones in the center, so I'm gonna flip those over for you. Like I said, just a couple minutes on each side and they're done. Just gonna flip them over real quick. It's about summertime, it's, uh, well, it's not really summertime, it's getting late spring. We'll be going on vacation in a few weeks. We always go to the beach, Panama City. That's one of my favorite places to go, and I'm always excited. I'm just a beach bum for like five or six days. I just lay under the umbrella, and sip my favorite drink, eat my favorite snacks. I've read a book from time to time when I go, but mostly I just like to watch the waves, and then when I get warm, I get up. I go get out in the water, and I have me a little dip in the water and cool off. And then I like to go have me some nice fresh seafood. There's nothing like fresh seafood at the beach. But this will have to do. Most of the stuff that you get, I mean you can get fresh seafood at some places, but most, most places you know you have to get them frozen and they're okay, but there's nothing like that fresh shrimp. But this is a good little side dish anyway. All right, so they're turning pink, so we're about ready. So now I'm gonna add a one fourth cup of cooking wine. We're just gonna put that in there. And I always just buy this Holland House cooking wine if you have a different kind. 
And people, a lot of people are skeptical about this. Like, I don't want to drink wine. I don't drink alcohol. But the alcohol cooks out in that, guys. It just gives it a great flavor. So you're not going to have to worry about. But it changes the ball game Because I've done it many times without the cooking wine. It doesn't work. All right, I'm just going to do just a dash of salt. A little dash of pepper. I'm going to let that go for a second. And then I'm going to add some lemon juice. And let's see. I can't remember what it's telling me. One tablespoon, so I'm halving it. So I'm just going to do a half a tablespoon of lemon juice in my little thing here. And it's coming out slow. You can, fret, you can fresh squeeze lemon if you want to do that. You don't have to do it in this, but it's the easy way for me. And I'm going to stir that a little bit more. And then I want to add some parsley. You can get fresh parsley, but I have the, the time that comes in a little container. Let's see how much parsley. Two tablespoons, but we're happy, so we're just going to do one tablespoon of parsley. And that's it. Now it's all stuck to my thing. I'm going to brush that out. And we're going to stir this up. And guys, that's shrimp scanty. That is that quick, that quick shrimp scanty. And I'm telling y'all, this is delicious. Once again, a good side dish, a good dish to put into um, like Alfredo pasta. I'm going to turn that heat off because it's done. Now, some people like at this point like to put it in the oven and broil it. I don't. We just like it just like this. I'm going to try to get me a thing out because I don't want to burn my hands. Our skillets get hot all the way around so you can see it really good. That's it, guys. Start to finish shrimp scampi. That didn't take, what, five, seven minutes? It's delicious. Let me grab me a fork. I'm going to taste it for you. Let me move all this out of the way so we can get to it. Take it off the eye so it'll quit cooking. I don't want it to cook no more. And that uh, juice that's in there that it makes up is so good to eat like a piece of bread with. Just dip it in that. Oh, so good. Let's see, let me get one of these smaller ones right here. Now, I bought what they call, excuse me, the jumbo size shrimp. But as you see, they kind of cook down, so it works out to buy them. And sometimes they have those bag shrimps on sale, and that makes it even better. Mm. Oh, Lordy. That is so good, guys. I didn't make any time to go with this because I just wanted to share this video. But I got a little bit of leftover sourdough bread over here. I think I'm gonna put this in a bowl and I'm gonna get me some sourdough bread and I'm gonna dip it in that juice and I'm gonna eat that shrimp. So, guys, if you enjoyed this, please subscribe to my YouTube channel, Meals with Marcia. And don't forget that everything you're gonna need and how to make this is gonna be in the description, okay? Uh, thank you so much for watching and I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.